welcome to my channel. It's me, Daria. I've never done this type of video, but I decided I want to because I've always been into like hair and makeup and stuff. So I've been wanting to do that type of content. So I feel like after y'all watch this video, give me your honest feedback and constructive criticism. But please don't be bullies. Because I'm a gangster. They call me gangster B, but my feelings be hard just sometimes. I ordered this wig. It was a beauty forever wig, but I ordered it through AliExpress and it just came here today and I was so excited to put it on. So I came here and put it on, recorded it, all that. And I did these curls. That's pretty much it. I'm not really going to do too much talking because I'm going to be talking throughout the video. So, yeah. Enjoy. Oh, I've, okay. So as y'all already know, this was my final look. Okay. So this is the final look. This is the look that we're going to get to by the end of the video. And now we'll get to the video. Okay, here y'all will see me pushing my edges back because from trial and error, I've learned to push my edges back. Normally, I'll gel them back, but I had a wig on previous to the wig I'm finna put on, so I'm just pushing them back so that I don't cut my edges off because I've done that before. And I'm going to cut my ear holes out. going to cut both ear holes out so they lay flat, like so, like that. Yes, ma'am. And then after I cut the ear holes out, I get this yellow tube of got to be and I'll put it on the cap on the edges where I want the cap to end it. And I was using the got to be spray at first, but um, I ended up running out of it. So I had to use the tube and I kind of like that better. So I think I'm going to do that from now on. With all that being said, I feel like this part is pretty self-explanatory, you know, just watch and see what I do, and yeah, so I'll let y'all watch. Most of the time, I'll just let it air dry until I feel like it's dry enough, but here's me blow drying it until, you know, it's dry to my liking. And then you'll see me adding some more got to be, but this is the got to be in the black tube. I'll add that because I feel like those sides are like the hardest to get to just lay down. So I just add that to it. Then next you'll see me cutting it, cutting the, um, the cap off so that we can get that bald cap look. Yes, ma'am. Here I'll be adding some makeup to the cap and I use this palette I got from Morphe because um, I normally use like foundation powder which I feel like powder works a lot better than the liquid foundation. I know I see some women using the liquid foundation but powder just works better for me. But I'll normally use the powder foundation but honestly I can't find it so I just <laughs> pulled out my Morphe palette and chose the one closest to my skin and then I took my wig flipped it over into my mannequin and I added some of it to the lace as well to make it look as natural as possible when I get ready to put it on. Okay, here I'm just taking the wig and putting it on my head to see how it's looking so far. Okay, here I'm getting ready to part my hair with the comb and <laughs> this is one of the combs that you use to like mix bleach and hair dye and stuff. Um, I honestly could not find my right tail comb so I had to use this instead. Y'all probably wondering why I keep losing everything but I just moved it to my apartment. Just bear with me guys, you know, <laughs> if you have a right tail comb, that'll work. This will also work if you have this as well. Okay, as you've seen, I've been trying to pull my hair back in order to pin it because I will be cutting the ear sections off because as you can see, this lace is way too big for my hairline, so I'll be cutting the sections off for my ears. Now, with this part, I feel like it's very important to be very tedious and careful because you don't want to cut like too many hairs off. Um... Way back when, when I first started doing this, I made that mistake. So you make sure you pin back the right amount of hairs or the, the right section that you need to pin back so that you don't end up cutting off hairs that you don't want to. Here 
Here what you see me doing is I'm just getting ready to pin the hair back and then I'll be pushing the wig back so I can get ready to apply the glue. Okay, so here you see me getting ready to apply the glue and I used the Ghost Bond. It's like $20 on Amazon. I think I spent like $20 of it on Amazon, but it lasts and it's good, girl. So when I apply the glue, I like to put a line in front of where my skin and the wig cap meets right there, as you can see I'm doing. And then after I do that, I'll add another line behind it. And to me, I feel like that just gives it a better hold. I could be tripping and just thinking that, but if you don't want to think that, you ain't got to. Because as my good Aunt Tabitha would say, that's my business. And girl, it's going to get real ghetto because I am using the back of my tweezers to smear the glue. Late, however, I don't, I don't know the word, the right word to use, but you see what I'm doing with the tweezers. I'm using the tweezers to do that. Now I'm just taking my blow dryer and I'm going to blow dry it until the glue gets tacky. The key is to blow dry it until the glue turns clear. Okay now we're back and the glue looks pretty clear to me. So now what I do is I take the glue and I add another coat. But this time instead of doing two lines I just do one line directly in the middle of what I did before. And then you'll see me being real ghetto again and smearing it with um, the back of my tweezers. Okay, now that that's done, we're gonna blow dry it again and we're gonna wait until the glue gets tacky and clear. Okay, honestly, the glue wasn't as clear as it could have been, but I kind of got a little impatient and I was ready to secure the wig, honey. So now that's what you'll see me doing is putting the lace over the glue. And this part is very, very tedious. So you'll see me like trying to be as careful as possible. Now that the lace is on, I'm just blow drying it again and combing the hair back just to make sure that the glue is completely dry. And that's gonna make me dance. So here I am just cutting the lace off and I'm sure you guys can notice or see that some of the lace kind of looks like, I guess you could say lifted up. To me, this looks raggedy, but no worries girl because i've been doing this a little while and your girl is gonna fix it just trust the process wait until you see the end result trust the process girl Okay, so as y'all just seen, I removed some of the hairs for baby hairs, and I feel like the hairline wasn't looking as natural as I wanted it to, so here you'll see me just plucking it a little more. Okay, here I am just removing some hairs from the hairline to um, so that I can have me some baby hairs, and then I'll pin it back, and then, then you'll see me just cutting the hairs.
Next, I'll take some of this hair foam, and this is what I use to lay my baby hairs. I feel like this works the best. I've tried gel and edge control and all that when it comes to um, lace and stuff, and I feel like the foam works the best. Okay, and after that, I'll take this little band thingy and um, use it to lay the edges down. I, I use it to lay the baby hairs down, the lace down, all that. It just makes everything melt together. And I feel like this is key when, especially using the hair foam, to just keep everything in place. Not sure why I look so angry, but trust me, girl, I'm, I'm, I'm happy. Also, just blow drying the hair some more because it was a, still a little damp. So that's what you'll be seeing here. Okay, so here you'll see me flat ironing my hair. And at first, I did want it like bone straight flat iron. And then, as you'll see in the video, I ended up changing my mind and started doing some curls instead with the flat iron. And I also wanted to just mention that this is the very first wig I have ever bought. Normally, I just buy bundles in the front or whatever, and I'll make my own wig. So this is my first time applying a wig that I did not make. And here is where you'll see me end up changing my mind about flat ironing it and added a little curl at the end, and then I just end up curling my entire head. <laughs> I feel like it's very boring to just sit and watch someone curl their hair, so I did skip a lot of that part and tried to speak through it as much as possible, but that's what I'm doing. I'm just curling my entire head. Also just wanted to mention, I feel like the key to the best curls to me is to make sure you're curling away from your face. Here I'm just blow drying that band again once more just to make sure everything is in place and dry. Look at that. See, I told y'all I was going to fix it. <laughs> I told y'all you girls going to fix it. And here I go feeling myself bow, bow, yeah, Ay, bow, wet, mm, mm. Mm, don't play with her. Mm, mm. Y'all might have felt like this video just ended very abruptly, but I forgot to film my outro with the final look and the makeup and all that. But like I said, I'm still kind of new to this YouTube thing, so just bear with me, you guys. Yeah, give me your honest feedback.